Shadow the Hedgehog is here. How was my choking Shadow the Hedgehog impression? Hmm? Yes. Shadow the Hedgehog is fucking here. And he has the soul of the one and only Keanu Reeves. Sonic 3, I have been waiting for so long to see Shadow on the cinema. As my and many, many, many Sonic fan bases favorite character, I am really, really happy just how much love Sega, Paramount, all of them are giving Shadow recently. Even like the new generations game. Also Shadow the Hedgehog has like a nice role in Sonic Prime. This is truly the best time for Shadow fans. From getting massacred by the awful games and shit writing to yeah being played by Keanu fucking Reeves. Also we got Fat Eggman. Jim Carrey, yes. And Gerald, actually. Jim Carrey is also playing Gerald. I actually, I knew they were gonna do this. But I actually thought they weren't gonna bring Eggman and instead they were gonna make Gerald the, like, main guy of this movie. Played by Jim Carrey also. So yeah, you literally have Jim Carrey, Keanu Reeves and Idris Elba in the same goddamn movie. Wow, this CGI? Come on, I mean, it's better than most of Marvel movies, but now that I think about it, it's not really that high of a bar to pass. But yeah, it looks so beautiful. And look at this screen. Look at Shadow's hand. Look at the energy. I am so happy they got it right. Because I did see them fuck up at some point. I don't remember where, but they made Shadow's aura red. Shadow's aura is not fucking red, it's orange. Like yellowish orange. That's a core look of his character that makes him look so damn cool. And I'm so happy they are bringing the correct color for this movie. So yeah, uh, uh, all I want from this movie is, you know, uh, merch of Shadow's amazing <laughs> shoes. I mean, they're not really shoes, they're... what are they called? Hovering shoes? Is that a thing? Air rollerblades? Maybe? Jade boots. Yes, that's the correct definition, I think. I, I want some merch of that, because I know I'm gonna buy it. I mean, come on, Shadow's shoes has to be like the droppiest motherfuckers in all of fiction. No shoes comes even close to how good Shadow's shoes look like. I know we're going way off topic in here, but <laughs> yeah. So we got Sonic teaming up with Eggman. Hmm, surely nothing bad is gonna happen because of that. Hmm, I wonder. So basically Sonic wants Eggman's help to defeat Shadow because Shadow's so fucking overpowered, as he should be. But Eggman wants one of Sonic's quills, and they actually give him the quill, which I will theorize now. Metal Sonic is coming. Yes, I think... Eggman is gonna make Metal Sonic and he's gonna bring him out at the climax of the movie. Because, surprise surprise, I think Shadow's gonna go to the good side in the end, as all games do. He's gonna pull off another Knuckles in here. And yeah, I think the reason they showed that Sonic gives Eggman the quill is specifically because Eggman is going to make Metal Sonic. But I have a good feeling that it's gonna be this movie because it's really hard to make Metal Sonic the main antagonist of the whole movie instead of the antagonist for the finale. Because you're gonna have to make a whole movie about him. And Metal Sonic is really not that complicated character-wise. They can add some stuff that are not in the lore of Sonic to make Metal Sonic more interesting. Like for maybe Sonic 4. But I think he fits perfectly in at the end of Sonic 3. As just this very powerful boss that both Sonic and Shadow need to go super to beat instead of fighting a fucking turtle. And maybe movie 4 is gonna be about Chaos because Chaos has like the progression abilities which is perfect for a whole movie. You can see him progress throughout the movie until the end where he is in his final form. So yeah, this is like my pure predictions and let me talk about something. Do you really think the only animal alien slash robot character from Sonic in Sonic 3 is only gonna be Shadow? Aren't we forgetting someone who steals Knuckles' 
Chaos Emerald. Hmm. Yeah, I, I have a good feeling that Rouge is gonna be in this movie. We do see Knuckles reclaiming the Chaos Emerald at the end of Sonic 2. So yeah, it's there for Rouge to try and steal. There's nothing stopping her. I just think Rouge is like the perfect one to add in this movie. For the sole reason of, you know, Shadow being here. Since both of them got introduced in the same game. And have always been Team Dark. So yeah, that's, uh, that's about it. I'm really hyped and yeah, get the fuck out.